So what's up everybody? Today I'm going to be going through a top eight deck analysis from the TKE TTST, the largest online universe event that we have had thus far over on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Tam Cardwell. So if you missed it, you're watching this on YouTube, uh, go out and click the link in the description down below. Give it a follow for whenever I go live. We're going to be doing that significantly more often. And uh, with that said, let's go ahead and uh, just jump into it. Uh. Let's move on to our seventh place Cutman deck. Uh, guys, I have found a new love. I have a, I found a new love, and his name is Cutman. So let's give a, a brief synopsis of what Cutman does, right? So Cutman is one of those old, bad characters, right? One of the crazy Mega Man characters that says, after a card leaves your momentum, you build a card into your staging area, and then you can destroy a card... Probably a face down card because your attack gets damage and your next check to block a card gets increased by three minus the printed difficulty. So if it is a face down card, its printed difficulty is zero. So you destroy a face down card and you get plus three damage and plus three to your check to block a thing. So this guy loves to block and he pumps it hard. Stunning reversal character. You block reversal, blow up a card. You get three damage on your reversal, as well as you get um, to, uh, as well as you get to block the next thing for free, right? So moving and looking onto his attacks, we've got ex uh, four exploding flame war, fantastic, really good at building our face downs to want to then blow up with Cutman, right? This thing hits for a million inside of Cutman. Um, forbidden moon set, controlling my opponent's staging area. It's fantastic. Making this a 9 damage move seems very cool. They have to block this thing so that then they have less resources to block the Flame Roar. Um, as well as it gives you a momentum in order to... It gives you a momentum in order to use Cutman's response, right? Um, when I played Cutman back before um, Cowboy Bebop, right? Um, I played it back when he was like... When he was in the format Cream of the Crop. He has now since come back off of the rotated list. Um... I didn't have things. I, I was running out of ways to gather momentum to then spend it. I had so many ways to spend my momentum without ways to get that momentum. And so uh, Forbidden Moonset very much helps with that. It helps with, on honestly, any deck. <laughs> um, up next, we've got four Bamboo Blind Slice. One of the easiest ways to spend that momentum. Um, Bamboo Blind Slice inside of Cutman is you block Reversal. You And it, whenever they play their next attack, you discard a momentum with Bamboo Blind Slice's ability, build one with Cutman, build one with Bamboo Slice, so you negate their attack and build two cards. Uh, actually insane. <laughs> like, like, this combo together, like, there's not, a, there's not a better named combo. That's so crazy good. Um, up next, we've got Rapid Gale Barrage, which my chat is blowing up about, right? Um, it has Combo Enhance Multiple 2, and all of our attacks except for Forbidden Moonset, we'll turn these guys sideways, have the combo keyword. And so you take and you uh, get your two momentum, which very easy to do with things like uh, Forbidden Moonset and um, Slay Ride Stowaway, which we'll get to. You multiple, you build one from Cutman because you've had a card leave your momentum. And then off of your multiple, it is a four mid for... 21 damage because of Cutman getting plus three damage to blow up a couple face downs, and then you uh, excuse me, and then you have plus nine to your block. So, this card inside of our deck is what Reverberate is inside of Sella, right? So, Se Reverberate has Sella Reversal and it's a five mid for 21 damage. Well, I mean, that's what this card does inside of Cutman. As well as, if this attack deals damage, your next check to play a card gets plus one. Multiple copies also get it. So not only am I getting plus nine to my check from Cutman, I'm also getting plus three, if they can survive this, to play my next one. So I get plus 12 to my next block. Hey, I blocked it. I did it. And that block I played was actually a Bamboo Blind Slice. So, boop. Hey, if you play another attack after this, I'm going to build one and uh, build, sorry build two and negate your attack like this this card is so potent on offense it's very very solid um and then the last attack that we have is precise blow um after you block with it you seal your opponent's attack which is great because it's sealed for the en entire turn cards don't refresh anymore um thanks to a new lgr update as well as you add the top card of the deck to their card pool face down which is just kind of stifling them a little bit further like one of the strongest plays that we can do in this is precise blow into rapid gale barrage into multiple right 
So we um, precise blow, stuff their card. So they have an attack in their card pool. We stuff their card. I'm now reversaling them. They have to deal with 21 damage and trying to play more attacks afterwards or else their turn's over. Or we can precise blow into Bamboo Blind Slice because this guy's definitely a weapon as well. And then we stuff, we block their attack. We stuff their card pool one. We stun them two off of Bamboo Blind Slice. We build two if we have a momentum and we negate their attack. Like this, like if we have one momentum, Precise Blow and Bamboo Blind Slice, their turn's over. They don't get to do anything, which is so potent. And half of that potency is not just because of Precise Blow, Bamboo Blind Slice is good. It's because Cut Man is good. Very, very cool to see this, uh, this guy played. Um, looking at the attack lineup, um, my personal opinion is I don't like this card at all in pretty much anybody who can't give it speed. This card just always gets blocked, which is fine because it rips apart a staging area um, and it's great for exploding flame or plays later. But this card also does not combo with Rapid Gale Barrage, which does not feel amazing. If you wanted to be absolutely manly, you could replace this card with... Um, Rose Whiplash. Uh, it is a bit of a scarier card. It's a 4 diff 2 check, which Moonset is a th uh, 3 check. And so you, you make your checks a little worse, but that's okay because we are mitigating our block checks, which is where 2 checks really matter um, with Cutman. And uh, you take and now get to go fetch your reversals, whether it be Precise Blow, Rapid Gale Barrage, which is your um, big... Uh, Excuse me, which is your uh, big kill condition. Going and picking up Bamboo Blind Slice will just say that they're not going to attack again next turn because you have you have shown them this uh, this cold war of, hey man, I've got a Blind Slice and at least two cards in my card pool. I've got two momentum as cut, man. That's going to make me build four and negate two of your attacks. Sorry, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's very, very good, but I can totally see wanting to be able to play more cards on your turn, having a proactive gameplay with Forbidden Moonset. The other option is honestly cut two of this or maybe cut one, cut one for then two Rose Whiplash. I think there is a place for Rose Whiplash inside of this deck. Or maybe cut one Moonset, cut one Precise Blow would be fine. I think that's totally fine because like this card's good, but it's not like... It's not Rose Whiplash good. And Rose Whiplash can go find you one of your three copies of Precise Blow. Yeah. Not to mention, we'll move on to our next uh, our next attack, or next card, uh, Yin and Yang. Onto our actions and assets. Um, Yin and Yang is a go-get-em card inside of this uh, deck. It really is the piece that lets you, like, block with Yin and Yang, go pick up my Bamboo Blind Slice. I'll reversal. Block with the Indian, go pick up Rapid Gale Barrage. Um, if I've already blocked with a Precise Blow earlier in the turn, because this card removes his cost, my Rapid Gale Barrage is now comboing with Precise Blow. I then get to put 21 damage on something. Um, uh, I'll get in Yango pick up Exploding Flame War. My next turn is going to be super crazy because I just picked up, you know, a 12 damage uh, attack, a 15 damage attack inside a Cutman. Yeah, this card's very, very good. In addition to that, it also has an unbelievable offensive ability. Let's talk about the Precise Blow Bamboo Slice play, which you can do with any of your combo reversals, right? You could go Precise Blow into Precise Blow, Precise Blow into Rapid Gale. Um, so we have Precise Blow, stuff a card in their card pool, reversal with our Bamboo Blind Slice. Um, and so now we have our combo of Stun 2 because we've got the Precise Blow. And then after we resolve... Uh, after we have finished playing our Bamboo Blind Slice, before we get to Enhances, we drop a Yin and Yang on them, which says, after I play a combo attack, cool, combo attack, um, my opponent takes the top two cards of the deck and puts it into their card pool. So not only do they have the progressive of their attack, they've got plus one progressive because of Precise Blow, and they have two more progressive because of the Yin and Yang. As long as they don't have an Omega Shore Sword and Owl Shield out, um, they can't block Anything that you do. So Precise Blow plus Rapid Gale Barrage plus Yin and Yang means that you just kill them on their turn, which is very cool. Um, up next, we've got one out of your league. This is just a safety play response. Um, after you, after your opponent plays a responsibility, cancel it. Um, if they try to, we, we talked um, in an earlier deck pro, uh, analysis about um, Arachin and Nirvana. I cannot say that first word. I have no idea. Aaron, Aaron Chin, Aaron Chin, and Nirvana. We, <laughs> um, yeah, we, we are trying to negate the reversal. Well, we negate 
their negate. Um, this card's very, very strong. And then we come to the asset, which is... Oh my goodness, this asset. Uh, this asset is the single reason why you want to play Cutman underwater. Asheron. Asheron. I will forget that for sure, Tim. Thank you, though. Um, uh, uh, C, Salika, and Loka Lua. Once per turn, grab a momentum for Cutman. Every time that you destroy a foundation, like with Cutman, this attack gets plus two speed or minus two speed. And so with Cutman, it's either plus two speed plus three damage or minus two speed plus three to my check. What? Block whatever I want, hit you for a million. What, th like this, this card makes this deck to the point where if we have any sort of discard cost from our hand i would play four of this i'd play four of this in a heartbeat so easy so easy to play this um with forbidden moonset being able to stuff a card into my momentum i would have played four of this no shot like I, like there's no chance that i don't play four of this this card is d honestly i hate this word this card's broken inside of cut man it's very very good on to the four ofs, which I, I've laid it out, uh, four ofs, three ofs, two ofs, one ofs. Um, our first foundation is Honky Tonk Woman, um, which I love. Man, do I love me some Honky Tonk Woman. Because Honky Tonk Woman has a flip cost to build any foundation from the top of your discard pile into your staging area committed, which is great because we now have a face down foundation with... Um, cut man in order to blow it up for, for damage. So I replace the foundation that I want and then either get plus to my check to block or additional damage. And the main card that we're going to be bringing in is the next one, which is Slay Ride Stowaway. Um, enhanced flip, it gets damage equal to my rival's momentum plus two. So just flip at base plus two damage, which is great because my character already gives a three after I have f destroyed this flipped Slay Ride Stowaway. After it hits my discard pile, I add the Top card of my deck to my momentum. Wait, Tam. That's exactly what my character wants to do. I want a momentum off a of sleigh ride. I destroy, remove it, and grab it back in. So when I check my sleigh ride, I will honky tonk to build it back in, flip it, destroy it with cut man, grab a momentum. Yeah. This the, this this card, this copy, this little two-card combo is so strong. And if you have any way to destroy foundations inside of your deck, um, like um, you could take and play, even if even if you weren't playing Cutman, who says destroy on his face, there is a card. It has the ally keyword. Dr. Wiley, let's, we're living. Sorry, <laughs> we'll get back. There is a card inside of water called Generous Gambler that destroys a face down foundation. And so you have got Honky Tonk out, right? You've got Slay Ride as the top card of your discard pile. You flip Honky Tonk to grab Slay Ride out of your discard pile. You flip Slay Ride for plus two damage. You destroy Slay Ride for plus two uh, speed off of Generous Gambler. Respond with Slay Ride. You get rid of it. You come and bring it back in. Like there's like... Like there's so much that you get to, to do with this little this little combo as long as you can destroy this guy. Very very strong. Up next, the last oh not just kidding, the second to last four of we have in our deck is Left to Die. So one of the big things about um, characters that build cards from the top of their deck, right? It's, it's an unbelievably strong ability. But sometimes when you get a little unlucky. All of these cool cards here get turned upside down, <laughs> which is which is really really bad um we hate having our foundations in our staging area and so we got to be able to lift or excuse me having our attacks in our staging area we got to be able to lift those bad boys back up and so we've got left to die at a four of in this deck which is a one five which gives plus two damage plus two to my check when it is a committed foundation destroyed beautiful um that says uh, after my attack is not blocked add a face down foundation to my hand um after an attack not my attack an attack and so if I block reversal, block reversal, or even any of these multiples, I can then take and go grab one of my cool face downs. Like, I don't know, exploding flame or something that has boop, popped something down, by the way. Um, oh, Shane, good, good point. Good point. Honky Tonk, Slay Ride, God of Thunder. Insane. Why is God of Thunder not in this deck? Crazy. Actually crazy. Um, um, 
Yeah, w but with Left to Die, we get to take and pick up the foundations that we have built down either with Exploding Flame Roar or Bamboo Blind Slice or with Cutman himself. And so this card existing in the deck, I love to see Left to Die at a four of having top of this event. Very, very strong. Hey, let's build some more cards. Searching for the Knight of Mare. What a crazy long name for a card. I hate putting this on my deck list, but the card is so good. A zero five three high that flips, which feels great with our character. That says after you play a combo ability, these are all combos. We get to build an additional card back in to from the top of our deck into our our uh, stitching our face down. So it's another copy of Cutman, which is a face down foundation that Cutman wants to blow up in order to give things more damage and uh, make your check better. Uh, yeah, great. Yeah, this this is checking off so many boxes in our deck. And even in an emergency, even in an emergency, whenever you have to just blow it up while it's ready, since it's a zero difficulty foundation, you still get the plus three, plus three off of Cutman. So even if you haven't combo this turn, press that emergency button, pull that parachute, it's still plus three, plus three, which, is, which feels great. On to our three ofs. Um, Royal Bodyguard, this card's... <laughs> Wow, this card. Um, this card says discard a momentum, you precise blow them. So you discard a momentum and then boop, brop, block this, uh, 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 bring a card into their staging area and build one because a momentum left. And then you get minus damage equal to the cards in the card pool. So the bigger and longer their string is, the fatter of a, of a damage reduction that you get to have. Um, having patience, having a, a self-control when it comes to having royal, good royal bodyguard plays um, is the difference between um, winning and losing a ton of games. The difference between high-level play. Up next, we've got Spaceland at a three of. Another crazy card that we, like, don't ever see inside of Decklist. And the reason that it's here is it combos with Honky Tonk Woman to try and find the coolest card you can to build in. But more importantly, it combos with Sleigh Ride, St Sleigh Ride Stowaway. After it is put into your discard pile, you then get to take and snag a momentum. And so not only are my cool reversal attacks, all, all my... Rapid Gale Barrage and their multiples are getting even crazier. I am taking and um, grabbing Spaceland in order to uh, grab my momentum and uh, hit the plus one damage to make all my stuff bigger. And conversely, it stops Slay Ride Stowaway. So Slay Ride being such a crazy cool card in the meta at the moment. I mean, everybody's playing it. We've only gotten one deck that does. But everybody at this event was playing it. Um, and everybody in standard will be playing it. Um, this card says after they add a card to their momentum, you get rid of it. And so they have now removed a card for you to commit a card. Great. That feels fantastic. That feels super, super good. Really good heads-up deck-building design by, uh, by William, including the triple space lane. I love it. I super, think it's super good. Up next, Dreaming of Becoming Whole. Um, this card is your main momentum spender, which means it is also my main deck builder. Um, for every time that I get plus one to my check to play an attack, I also get to build a foundation. Neat. <laughs> very, very strong. This card's crazy. Um, um, this card could easily be a four of in this deck, um, and I honestly would put this at a four of in the deck if... We needed, if if we felt like um, searching for the Knight of Mare was not quite getting us there. I could easily see you replacing Dreaming with the the Search, or excuse me, replacing Search with Dreaming in order to make this the 4 of and this the 3 of, depending on how combo heavy your deck is. With Dreaming um, being so potent of being able to ready a card, build a card, and it being a 0 diff, we get to take and um, build, we, we still get... Same thing with searching. If I have to press that emergency button, Cutman still gets the plus three, plus three off of it. Up next, we've got Pure of Heart. This card uh, shuts down a key piece with uh, on offense or defense. You just, as the first enhance that you get to play during this attack, that's what, what first enhance means. Anytime you have a first, it's the first thing that you get a chance to do. You commit it and then say, hey, you don't get to play the abilities on that asset or um, foundation until this attack is finished. It's done. Um, which is exceptionally, exceptionally good. Very, very good. Um, as well as if your opponent has any sort of discard in their deck and they hit pure of heart, you just blow them out. You destroy them. You decimate them. It's, uh, it is crazy. You pick two of their cards and put it up in their card pool, essentially doing what precise blow and Royal bodyguard does. Um, cards insane. Cards crazy, crazy good.
And then the last card of the main deck is Rhythmic Fighting Style. Uh, this card's fantastic in the meta at the moment. Um, go pick those up from your local shops. Um, it is an expensive card. It is not rotating quite very soon. But um, this card is the Vicious Madness Destroyer. With how many amazing mid blocks that we have inside of our deck... Like, all of these slick mid-blocks say that um, Vicious Madness is not nearly as scary. I'll commit this card and say your big, scary 8 to 16 damage throw doesn't do anything, and you lose it for the whole game. Like, one of the one of the cool things about throws is um, they are a guaranteed additional resource of being able to go to your momentum. Well, with uh, Rhythmic Fighting Style, not only do they not go to your momentum, they are removed from the game. You don't get to play with them at all for the rest of... Uh, the rest of forever. And Rhythmic lets you precise blow R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could uh, precise blow, right? Because after you block with this card, um, but before the damage step, right? So you can block with it, stuff their card pool, and then you go to the damage step and then get rid of it. Good good point, Feedy. Good point. On to our sideboard. Oh, sorry. Let's talk about the main board. Uh, I think this deck is beautiful. I um, love the... Um, foundation lineup. I think this foundation is very, very clean. I personally am not a fan of a bunch of four ofs. I think four ofs are really, really scary. I love Shane's suggestion of popping in God of Thunder in this deck. Um, if I could, I would take out one of the searchings, one of the honky tonks, and easily pop in double God of Thunder just to uh, keep readying stuff. Or maybe even one of the space lands um, or space land searching for double God of Thunder. I think it's really, really strong. With that said, though, um, these are the only three low blocks in our deck. Right? These are the only three low blocks on a, on uh, foundations. And these are the only three that we have on our attacks. Which means that Lord Raptor, which we saw two of, one, two, in top eight, kind of just get a free win against this deck. So not only do I is it hard for me to block my stuff... It's almost impossible for me to block the correct zones because uh, more than half of the attacks, or sorry, the, the main attacks that Lord Raptor wants to play um, is are, are all low. Yeah. So there's, there's some tightening up, tweaking. I think this is a beautiful version 1, maybe a version 1.2 of this deck. I think anybody at home, if you if you just want to copy this deck, jam out a couple games with it and see where you can shave off. I'm seeing too many left to die. I'm seeing too many sleigh ride uh, stowaways, um, and find some some more cards to uh, patch out your main deck. Uh, uh, bad matchups, I think, is good. Like, um, there's no ageless and wise in this water deck. Very surprising. Very very surprising. Let's uh oh, I want to search. Let's look at let's look at our sideboard now. Uh, into our sideboard, we've got double rhythmic fighting style. We already talked about it in the main board. I love the fact that it's more throw hate in the sideboard. Triple bang, wowzers! Um, bang being able to turn off my opponent's character. Um, some characters are very very potent on, on my opponent's turn or even on my turn, right? Um, being able to bang my opponent's Lord Raptor, being able to bang my opponent's um Kuabara in order to make my my big huge damage pump. This card damage pumps, damage pumps multiple is considered a damage pump versus Kuabara. Um, this is this is really really strong. Um, it's it's a uh, it's strong. It this is a this is a very very cool card, and you can easily take out um some of your some of your uh, other blue cards. You could take out one, two, three, and uh pop your three bangs in. One more out of your league if your opponent is is big on canceling your cool stuff. Yeah, let me just get rid of that. Um, one more pure of heart if this card is uh, prevalent. Uh, I don't like this card in the sideboard at the one of. I I think there are probably better slots for it. Excuse me, I got something in my eye. Um, I think there are probably better slots for the pure of heart at a at a one of um than this although at the moment i can't think of anything honestly we should have probably replaced some of these oh man even look at this high block high block high block high block high block high block yeah i think our block zones are a little a little uh wonky inside of this one um double prepare to fight uh multiple decks are crazy i mean this this deck's a multiple deck um Reverberate is the uh, is the cock of the walk right now, and so everybody and their grandma is trying to play a reverberate deck. I mean, we're we, even us. We're playing reverberate light, right? We're playing we're playing the uh, the the RC cola of reverberate as rapid gale barrage, and so uh, prepare to fight is a really strong card. And then lastly, Kuabara. Um, I guess I get to talk about Kuabara a lot 
Kubar inside of this exact attack lineup, Fidu, who, um, spoilers, played this Kubar deck that I'm about to talk about here in probably two hours, um, is an interesting choice. The attack lineup does not necessarily love this, right? I actually would have loved to have seen, hear me out, Kuwabara plus nine other cards to make Kuwabara work. Take out some of this jank and make a Kuwabara deck into your sideboard. Because all of this could easily still be Kuwabara, right? It could be. But you take out, you get nine uh, cards, like, where's Aragorn Smash if we're going to play Kuwabara? Like, um... Or, free, you're right, you could put Spike in the sideboard. But I think the point is, as a seven hand size character, you're afraid of just die to big pumps and not being able to, like, deal with it, or like a big throw. You easily could just side in Kuwabara as that emergency button. And so, if you want to do Kuwabara, um, if you want to play Kuwabara in your sideboard, um, I think you should tailor your sideboard more for Kuwabara. That's how I feel, at least. Oh, don't read too much into Kuwabara. I added it as a joke. Oh, hey, Will. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming and hanging out. Um, yeah, uh, jokes are fun, but if I had to be actually analytical, I think this Kuwabara could work in this deck for anybody who is wanting to try this this amazing seventh place top eight of the TKE TDST, the largest universes online event we've ever had. I don't think Kuwabara is bad in here. I think that something in here needs to mesh just a little better. I love, I love where it's headed. I love where it's headed. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the uh, the deck in either the chat right now or the comments down below on the YouTube video. Um, yeah, I uh, I am for sure the next time that I get to play at an event, I'm playing, I'm playing Kubara or I'm playing Cutman. There's no way that I don't. <laughs> Card, card's amazing.